How cool would it be to see a Mars colony still in our lifetime? And what does it take to make this dream come true? Today, I want you to experience exactly that. I want to take all of you together on a journey to Mars. Close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes and imagine you are there. You are on Mars, the red planet. After several months of a harsh journey, you finally arrived. Before you is the wasteful desert of Mars. And you're feeling the purpose of being here, the purpose of the science you're conducting here. You feel that you push the boundaries of humanity. But then, boom, a sandstorm hits your base, and your rocket gets severely damaged. The only rocket which can bring you back to home. You don't have the replacement parts right away, and resupply from Earth is not an option. In the best case scenario, it would take about seven months to receive them. Luckily, there are crazy scientists like me who insisted to bring a small little vial of bacteria with you. Bacteria which were genetically engineered so they can extract iron directly from the Martian soil. Iron which can be used to build the replacement parts for your rocket and to travel safe back home to Earth. Those of you still dreaming of Mars, open your eyes, it's really time. Uh, we are back on Earth now, and this is and was my research for the last couple of years. Exploring together with an amazing team here at Delft University of Technology, at NASA, and at the European Space Agency, exactly this methodology. De developing it to a point where it's ready to use. But I'm at the end of my PhD, but the journey has just begun. We showed this methodology for one element and one bacterium, but so many more are out there, so much more to explore. So, with all of that, we have to realize what bacteria, tiny organisms, tiny creatures as they are, are capable of doing. Because bacteria, will help us to build a Mars colony. Bacteria will help us to pave the way for future, future space exploration. And bacteria will make us humans an interplanetary species. Thank you.